Beloved, Christ is in our midst. Today we continue our celebration of the great feast of the entrance of the Mother of God into the temple, which feast we began celebrating yesterday. At the age of three, the young child Mary was brought by her parents, Joachim and Anna, to the rebuilt temple in Jerusalem. And there, she was not presented to the priest, but coming to the priest, she of her own will entered into the temple, even all the way into the Holy of Holies, which is a sacred space, the place of God reserved for the high priest. And in the temple, she stayed until she was 12, hearing the scriptures through all those years awaiting the salvation which was to come, the salvation who was to come, as she was being formed there into a dwelling place, a temple for the Most High. This young child is the living Holy of Holies, who walks into the Holy of Holies built by human hands. She is hidden in the temple as God's own treasure, she who will hold within her womb the glory, the Son of God. The scripture readings from the Vespers for this feast are vivid accounts of the glory. The glory, a person, a who, not a what. The glory who is the Son of God. Give them a read in your Bible. They're well worth reading these scripture passages for this feast, as they are for every feast. In the first reading at the Vespers, we heard of the glory filling the tabernacle built by Moses in the wilderness, built by hand according to the pattern which God showed to Moses in heaven. Moses was not able to enter the tabernacle of the testimony, the scripture says, because the cloud overshadowed it, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And in the second reading, King Solomon moves the Ark of the Covenant, which had been kept in the tabernacle, into its new home, the temple which he built in Jerusalem. And the scriptures say that the priests were unable to stand to minister because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord our God Almighty filled the house. And in the third reading, the prophet Ezekiel has a vision. When he has this vision, the people are in captivity, and the temple Solomon dedicated is in ruins, it is destroyed. But Ezekiel sees the glory, the Lord, who in this vision brings him to a still standing temple with its east gate shut, reserved for the Lord. And the Lord brought him to the temple, to the front of the temple. And so Ezekiel looked and behold, the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord. The all holy lady Mary, is the living ark. She is the tabernacle. She is the temple. She is the shut gate that Ezekiel saw. All these are fulfilled in her. From her, the glory that filled the tabernacle, that filled the temple, that filled the temple in Ezekiel's vision, from her that glory who is, will take our human flesh. In her womb, he who cannot be contained will be contained. In her, he who is the Holy of Holies and dwells in the Holy of Holies, in the tabernacle, in the temple, now makes her his tabernacle. She becomes the Holy of Holies too. So we honor her who is above every angel because she is the chosen tabernacle of the glory, the mother of the Most High. 
Through her giving birth to the Lord, we have become fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. Through her giving flesh to the Son of God, Christ Jesus has now become our cornerstone. In him, too, we grow into a holy temple in the Lord. In him, too, we are being built as a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. In celebrating her feast, let us cleanse and change our path from flesh to spirit. Let us change our desire from the things of this earth which pass away and rot. Let us turn our desire to those things that endure. Let us desire spiritual gifts which do not decrease. Let us go into our hearts, our inner temple, and turn our attention from the worries of this life. Rather, turn our attention to the coming of the Lord in the temple of our heart, making ready for the Lord to come into the temple of our heart by inner silence and prayer, that he raise us up to the inaccessible places of heaven to the Holy of Holies, where the Mother of God now resides. To him with the Father and the Spirit be glory and worship to the ages.